Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to issue 22 of building the Back to the Future DeLorean. Classic 80s time machine. It's going to look like that when it's finished. I'm, I'm excited for it. It's going to look really cool. Uh, so, in this issue, we're continuing with the engine. Look, there it is. There's what I've been building so far. Uh, we're doing some more parts uh, and fixing screws, obviously, as well. Uh, we're doing some hose stuff. We've got a selection of hoses and things to do. Uh, so what we are going to be doing is uh, blah, 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 adding more details to the engine. Pretty easy. We'll go through this in a moment. We're going to be adding bits to the whole assembly and then doing fun with fuel hoses. So that's that. Uh, but first of all, let's have a look through the rest of it. Uh, Back to the Future's release was moved forward to the 3rd of July. Uh, yeah, they, they obviously moved forward a couple of weeks for some reason. Uh, maybe the 4th of July holiday weekend, they will hope to get more um, cinema goers, but there we go. Uh, and they, again, it's another very, very um, short magazine. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, obviously, yes. Classic Doc Brown in there. There we go. Uh, next issue, uh, we're continuing working on the engine. We, it's all engine for a little while now, I think, but looks of it uh i can't there's some sort of dipstick by the looks of it the oil, oil dipstick and mounting brackets now these are going to be different uh it looks like i've got these parts but technically i need different parts because of this being the different engine uh these you'll notice are at an angle like that and these as you'll notice are like that i'll talk about that next time but yeah there we go uh, that's that. This time, as I say, we've got lots of these parts here. I'll clear up, get them ready, and show you exactly what the build's going to do. Right, uh, as I said, we have a mass of hoses. Apparently there's two of each of three different sizes. Looks like that, that and that. That's a long one. The medium one, and that's a short one. So yes, we have three different selections of those. We're using those in a little while, so I'll put them to one side for now. Uh, first of all, we're putting 22B onto the post of 22A. I don't know. Uh, it looks like a square bit, so it's probably that is going on to that. Yes, that looks like it. Uh, so that is just going on there. It is indeed bayoneted in one particular direction. So that just fits onto there. That yeah, fits on quite secure, so it doesn't need screwing in place. It's not going to fall off, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we are going to be attaching it using an MM screw. I uh, don't know that we've used MM before, but there we go. That's what we have for this. Uh, that is going uh, onto there. Thing on there, uh, we've got a little pin sticking out here. Obviously going to go over that bit, and screw will go in right next to that there. If I can hold it in place on camera and use the screwdriver as well, it will be a miracle. Uh, for such a small part being put in place, it's quite a long screw. I don't know exactly why that is, but get that lined up first. Because it's such a long screw, we can in fact play around with getting that starting to tighten down before we worry about getting that peg in place. And then we can just tighten it down even more. Going, keep that going, keep that going. Even further than that. Go, that's secure and in place. I'm happy with that. Uh, next up, we're going to be using a couple of AP screws. We've got a whole mass of them, so I'm going to get a load of those out. Pretty sure we're going to be using most of them. Uh, we need two at the moment. Because we're fitting this bit uh, onto that bit. Makes sense. Uh, again, we've got a single pin to hold it in place and two screws to lock it in place. So you've got to get it the right way round. Right way round is that way round. Get the plug into the bit. 
There we go. So that's in there. And then a couple of screws to hold that in place. Or not, as the case may be. It's going to be one of those parts of the... It definitely is. It's going to be one of those builds today, I think. Try that again. That started. And then worry about getting the other one in. At least we haven't got the tubes to worry about yet. We're going to be putting them on later rather than having them now and then having them all come off and go all over the place. There we go. That's that. Uh, it doesn't tell me in there what this part is, so I really don't worry. Uh, next up, we're getting that and that. They're being attached together. Uh, it's got to go that way round with the plug fitting in there and an AP screw will be holding that in place. Go. That. Uh, and then another AP screw. We'll be attaching this to here. Uh, where is that going? Oh, it's going on top of that bit. So again, we've got a plug and a screw hole going into the bit that we've just attached onto the top. That goes in there, screw hole goes in there. Probably could have just been one piece, but you know, there we go. There we have that. It can be a little bit tighter. Uh, right, next up, we're attaching other bits. We've got this to go onto there with two AP screws. Uh, does it matter which way round it goes? Uh, that is the same either way, so no. As long as it lines up. It sort of does, however you do it, so yeah. Uh, it should be flat against that side, it says. Yeah, that is, that's pointy that end and flat that side, so yeah, that will go about there. One in so it's not going anywhere, another in so it's tightly secured. That. Go, right, more AP screws incoming very shortly. I need one more. To attach this onto there uh, again one locating pin into a hole and a screw to hold it in place it's a very convenient and good way of doing it like that you know it can't rotate while you're putting the screw in but you don't need to worry about having multiple screws doing the same thing so that goes on there uh, then we need two more AP screws to hold that onto there Creating the tubes, the pipes, there, and then the other one, there, then tighten them both down, and we're good to go. Then this gets attached to the top of the engine with uh, one, two, three, four what screws. Did I get the right number of screws out? That was lucky. It was not intentional. It was intentional, but luckily intentional. Uh, yeah, they're going to go in those four screws in there. So that should fit in behind that. Like that, there we go. It just sort of holds in place. In that side just a little bit. We can arrange it all, manipulate it a little bit. Other screw in the other side. So we know it's going to be in the right place, and then we can get the last two screws. Let's hold it in place. It's looking good. It's still looking very silver, but you know, sure it's fine. There, and that one about there. So they're all in, they can all be tightened in. 
we know that nothing is going to be moving around places that it shouldn't be moving. So far, so good. It's a bit loose that side, but I'm sure that's going to attach in somewhere, or it's not going to be moved anyway. Uh, next up, we've got our bag of spark pluggy bit things. I don't know exactly what they are. Fuel connectors. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them, and we need six of them. Uh, they're going on at the top there, and they are going... I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to do this, because that's going to make it much easier. They need to go in pointing in particular directions. So the three over this side are going to point over this side. Go. And the three the other side will point, funnily enough, the other way. They do move a little bit when you're when they are in place, so it's not terrible, but you don't want to break them off, obviously, so put them in carefully. Place and then push it in place with a finger. And gently point in the right direction. Nice, and one more that side. Come on. That, no it isn't, yes it is, no it isn't. Feels like there might be some flash or something on there, but I don't think there is. I think it's just not lined up quite right. There you go. There, turn that round. Two more to do. And then we'll get to the fun with hoses segment. There, and the last one. Easily enough. There, lined up and pushed home. So there we go, that's those. Uh, right, so next up I need to turn my page over so we can get to the next section. Putting the fuel hoses. Right, one end of a short hose. Uh, I'll show you the curly tweezers that I got with, I believe this build, it might be another one, I don't know. Uh, right, they've turned it, no they haven't. They've turned it around without telling me, so be, be aware of orientation. Uh, so that one is going on there. Well, that's actually not that well finished. Might not fit as is. Let's see if we can increase the size of that a little bit. Then it might. If not. Might need to go in and tidy up that bloke. Oh no, there you go. That's gone on there. And I think that should sort of reinflate its own hose very shortly. Where I've squished it a little bit with these. Uh, that's that. The end of that is going down onto first of these. Down in there. Like that. That's easy. Second short hose uh, is doing the same on the other side. Got on there much easier. Down onto there. I must admit, I do prefer the um, other builds where they're brighter colours, but black is it does the job. Uh, medium hose is going on there, and the same the other side. And then the long hose is doing the other one. It's nice and easy. Can't go too far wrong with those. That one on there, just like that. Can't go wrong, as I said, not going easily. That one on there. Other end down onto there. Uh, while I'm on this side, no, I'm going to do the other side. I'll do it in the order that it says to do it in. Although it doesn't really matter, I don't think. You could do one side first and then do the other. It's not a problem. Long hose. Other one that's not quite finished on the end there. So let's just open that out of it and then quickly get back in. 
before it shrinks down again. There. The other end. Oh, see, that's come on down already. And that's come off. I'll, I'll get these done off camera. You know how it's going to work. That on there and that one on there. In there. Let's get that one down on there. In. And then I need to manipulate and tidy up that one to get that on there. But that is that. That's the end of the build once I've got that one figured out. Uh, that's the end of so far. Uh, next time, I believe we're returning to do some more of the engine, just for a change, because it's been a while since we've done the engine. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I shall see you very shortly for the next part. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.